Good evening, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Armour with the Stock Switch, and today I thought I would review BABA. I wanted to take a look and really review the calendar year of 2016 and look at the best trade calls that I've made this year. The interesting thing is that the best trade call that I think I made this year for the options, okay, this isn't the day trades, this is the option trades I did, was actually a long. It was a call in BABA. It was a bullish gap up. It happened here, seems like a long time ago, it was in the summer, August 11th, and I called it to go long the stock. And, and I called it to do the calls. Stock ran up, was up a lot of money right away. Every single person that did this, that was in the letter of the trading room, did it here and made huge profits here. A lot of people got out. I didn't, I stayed with the trade. One day it was negative in here. I added to the position to cost price myself down and it rallied back and I ended up making more. I didn't hold it the last day, but boy. Man, oh man, if I had held that the last day, oh, geez, you know, I look back at that and I say, if I had held that the last day, but you know, I still think all in all, I did absolutely the right thing because of the fact that this was the week of the, of the Labor Day, so the market was closed on Monday. And when you have a holiday, when you have a holiday going on in the market, you can never be sure exactly what's going to happen. And so I was up a lot of money and I got out here. But this, without a shadow of a doubt, was the best options trade I called this year. Not just because of the fact that it was profitable immediately and huge. And no matter what you did with it, you made money well before expiration. But the one thing that made this such a good call, looking back, is that I saw that the stock would explode after the gap up, which actually was red in the day and closed, closed red. So the earnings happen in the gap up, and I rated the gap. I didn't go long this as a day trade, but I went long it as an option. I gave myself a lot of time. But the fact is that I, I predicted that the stock would explode after the earnings, despite the large gap up and the, and the fall on the day on the day of the earnings. I, I predicted the explosion and it went even more actually. This is all the power of the gap and the rating system and what I do. It was a correction that happened actually in the stock from being in a downtrend, falling, 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 and then gapping up and doing the correction and the gap rated good. But I didn't day trade it, but I did it as an option to get the explosion and it was a really good call. It was one of those crazy Melissa calls that people say from my broker to my students to everybody, how would you, how did you know that was gonna do that, Melissa? You know, it's the rating system. It's what I teach in the class, it's what I know and the ingenuity and intuitiveness of me to, to actually be able to predict something was do that and then put the money on the line, which, which I did and, and it worked. So this will go down as one of the trades I will remember from 2016. If I had held it into this last explosive day on Tuesday, often it expired at the Friday of the week, but I was concerned about the Labor Day when the market was closed, I would have made 30 grand. I did not, I ended up making 11 something in here. I'm not gonna complain about making over $11,000. I would never complain in that for my life. But I actually would have made even more <laughs> if I held it. So, you know, I always say to people, you'll never get out of the high of the day, you'll never get out of the low, but this goes down as a trade that I will always remember. Everyone's been asking me about this because we made so much money in the trading room on this. I gotta tell you, the stock doesn't look so hot. One of the problems with trading stocks like this as a day trade, which I rarely, rarely ever trade Baba as a day trade. Again, I, I focus every day on gap downs, but this stock has only been open, the history of the stock is two years and two months. You don't have a big history here. I gotta tell you, the break of that gap up on the earnings that did the correction that fell through here, despite the fall of the market, is not, not making me feel warm and snuggly. I would not be long the stock. I would not be short the stock. I would not be in the stock at all. I think the stock needs to figure itself out. It's trying to do it. It's, it, it's trying, but it hasn't yet. I wouldn't be in this in any position either way. There's no read on this now. It doesn't really look that good. It needs to determine what the course of action for it's to take for 2017. 
So bottom line is we got the move. We got the best move, the biggest move, the most explosive move of the year. It was the best option call I made all of 2016. Every single solitary person made money. So congratulations to everyone that did it. This is the best trade of 2016, I think overall. Day trades and option trades, it really was. Because of the fact that it went immediately profitable so much and it was down for one day and exploded. No matter where you got out, you made money and congratulations to everyone that did it. Have a great day. Have a fabulous holiday, everyone. If you'd like to sign up for the options letter, email me at melissathestockswish.com. I'm doing a special for the Happy New Year for the options letter. If you're interested in more information, email me at melissa at melissathestockswish.com. And have a very wonderful holiday.